once you get up there, I mean, I don't know how it feels now, but once you sit in it, it's actually more Yeah, I, I can just tell so, by a cushion. Yeah, so once, if you have it adjusted right, once you, uh, once you sit in it, it just kind of sits you back. Too tall, I mean, bulletproof because it's been around since the mid 30s, and they know everything about the engine. They know what the weak points are, blah, blah, blah. and um, bulletproof because it's pretty heavy metal, too, so they can take a pretty good beating. The engines on these, and this one and that gray one at the end, they're 87, they're identical. Um, Pratt and Whitney R1340. Um, variable pitch prop, retractable gear, um, and there's two positions in it, a pilot and an instructor. The instructor sat in the rear seat, um, and he could keep things going, you know, as well as he could keep them going from back there, but there is a full set of controls back there. Let's walk up and take a look. My uh, aunt's worked and retired from Pratt and Whitney. Ah. And Sebastian has gone up and now. 172, 172 yeah. and without so, exaggerating he flew it about 65 percent of the time yeah just um as a matter i mean just to understand the scale and the scope a 172 has um it's either 150 or 175 horsepower engine this is 600 yeah. um so wow. you know the radial engine obviously means that instead of like your car where you know, there's a center section and then the valves and the pistons are all on the side. These go around a central crank and it's nine cylinders. Um, you know, pretty simple cast that. You know, an interesting feature on a lot of the old World War II, this is all made out of fabric. Um, so it's literally it's like your t-shirt and they stretch it up over the ribs and then they paint it with some they call it dope it stiffens it up a bit but they did that so that if a student wrecked it it was easy to fix you know they didn't have to find metal and bend metal again plus if you think about during world war ii metals were in short supply you know they were making engines and bullets and bombs and tanks and planes so they limited metal wherever they could also it's lighter Everything you want in an airplane is weight. You want to get rid of as much weight as you can, so by making this stuff out of fabric, it lightens it up that much more. So, um, coming around, the, the tail surfaces are the same, fabric as well. Um, even the feathers, it's all fabric. So, interesting. Yep. Makes sense, though. To show you on the on the pilot side. Again, anybody who ever went on to become somebody learned how to fly in this, and this took all the bad out of them. If they could get out of this airplane, they could fly anything. And just about anybody now who flies, you know, a Corsair or a Mustang or any of those will tell you that they are way easier to fly than this. And it was by design. They made it hard on purpose. So this was originally a spot for a machine gun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if you are not a vendor or a volunteer, it's now time to exit the airfield. Again, if you're not a vendor or a volunteer, it's now time to exit. If you have any vehicles or anything that needs to exit before we open the show, it's now the last chance to get those things off of the airfield, please. Again, if you're not a vendor or a volunteer, it's your time to exit.
Bud, how's your morning? It's all right. Yeah? Yeah, just an early morning, but yeah. pretty stoked. Yeah. Did you eat breakfast? Yeah, a little bit, and then good breakfast in the diner. Well, I'll see you around in a minute. Okay, cool. Love you. Bye, mijo. to bring to the Cavalcade of Plains. And hey, ladies and gentlemen, the Illinois Aviation Museum would like to thank with Charlie's Restaurant. Charlie's Restaurant and Patios are right open. It's here all the time. Open to them. We got the Cavalcade Canteen. Hot dogs, pulled pork, nachos, cinnamon glazed nuts, popcorn, slushies, cotton candy, and cold beer. We got our good humor man. He's back. He's right next to the blue and white striped tent. Little Jimmy's Italian Ice is here as well as Beggar's Pizza, the Hampton Park Social Athletic Club,